My relationship to food and fitness as a child was actually really challenging. I felt like I was always overweight. I was always seen as the chubby one. I always felt like, oh, something's wrong. I shouldn't look like this. I shouldn't be like this. And with so much focus on my weight, I just got bigger and bigger and bigger until in my early teens, I was 212 pounds. And I was constantly on a diet. And finally, in high school, I found exercise and it was like, yes. I found something that I personally felt like I could control and that I loved and that really gave me a sense of, I can use this body and it's okay and it's strong and I loved it. I think that developing the mind, body, and I would say heart connection is the only way that you can really transform yourself in a way that you create this feeling of self-love and it's what everybody's looking for. And it really comes from nurturing yourself. It comes from taking care of yourself. And when you're able to really realize that the body isn't just not something to compare yourself to other people with or fit in or try to get love from, but it's actually our vehicle to express love. It's our way to connect with people. And loving it is really access to being free in it. So I wanted to create a practice that people could see how powerful their thoughts are and changing their self-concept was really what changes the behaviors and what really changes our lives. We all know that our thoughts are important. We all know that the way that we speak and the words that we think and use, that they're important, but how do we know how to actually train ourselves to change them? So I thought putting it together with physical action is what will give it emotion. Because in order for us to change, we have to use emotion. We have to use movement. We have to use power. And now we consciously create ourselves. We consciously train ourselves to become a healthy person. We train ourselves to become enthusiastic and passionate and positive and grateful. Because we know these things are good. But what this practice teaches is, you know, you change your state. You change what you're thinking about. You change what you focus. That changes your being, which then influences different behaviors. It gives you behavioral flexibility. It gives you emotional flexibility. Now you become the master of your mind, the master of your emotions, and you start to declare and command and claim who you want to be. And now you use your language no longer to describe your situation. Now you use your language to transform your life. And now you know the power that you have to change your life.